the United States votes $400 million to help that war, we're not voting for a giveaway program. We're voting for the cheapest way that we can prevent the occurrence of something that would be of the most terrible significance to the United States of America, our security. If we withdrew from Vietnam, the communists would control Vietnam. Pretty soon, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Malaya would go. If this little nation goes down the drain and can't maintain her independence, ask yourself what's going to happen to all the other little nations. If the United States now were to throw in the towel and come home, and the communists took over South Vietnam, then all over Southeast Asia, all over the Pacific, in the Mideast, in Europe, in the world, the United States would suffer a blow. And peace, because we are the great peacekeeping nation in the world today because of our power, would suffer a blow from which it might not recover. First a handful of advisors, then the Marines. Finally, an army of half a million. That was the Vietnam War. It was an undeclared war, a war without front lines or clear objectives. A war against an elusive enemy. A war. Speak to me. Yeah, I'm still alive. Speak to me. Huh? What's your name? Tell me what your name is. Where are you from? Steve, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington is a good town. Good town, good town. Yeah, Very I good go to sleep, though. Huh? Can I go to sleep? No, don't go to sleep. We had some precarious situations, and we lost some people, but we always won. So to me, uh, we were very successful, you know, but as I think of it now, I don't know what we won. We won a, uh, a box on a, on a map where the next day we left it and we never came back, maybe. It was a war that blurred the line between friend and enemy. Wherever the Americans went, they burned and destroyed and killed. I didn't see any guerrillas being killed, only villagers. An eight-year-old or a nine-year-old can kill you just as quick as a 25 or a 26-year-old man. Back here in the States, the kids are playing cowboys and Indians. Over there, they've been playing it for real. It was a war with deep roots, deeper than most Americans knew. Ho Chi Minh and his followers fought for decades against the French, then against the Americans and their South Vietnamese ally. I always believed in my country. But instead of sending my sons out to defend their country, I sent them out to die. It was a war that turned South Vietnam inside out. A war that changed the GIs who fought it. GI, you want Vietnamese cigarette? For a box of Tide, you could get a carton of pre-packed, pre-rolled marijuana cigarettes soaked in opium. For $10, you could get a vial of pure heroin. You could get liquid opium, speed, acid, anything you wanted. It was the first television war. What's he got, small arms? Small arms, automatic fire, grenade launcher, and grenade. With uncensored battle reports flashed to the folks at home. What's the hardest part of it? Not knowing where they are, that's the worst. Thing. You lost any friends? Quite a few, we lost one the other day. The whole thing stink, really. It was the first war Americans opposed in huge numbers, openly and passionately. Are you listening, Nixon? Oh, we are saying. Are you listening? 
The Vietnam War ended when the communists took Saigon. The end of the war left questions and issues that are still unanswered and unresolved. Well, it's time that we recognized ours was in truth a noble cause. Let us tell those who fought in that war that we will never again ask young men to fight and possibly die in a war our government is afraid to let them win. Vietnam, a noble cause, a shameful venture. This television series looks back on a hard chapter in America's history. Two and a half million Americans fought in Vietnam. And 58,000 Americans died there. Why?